Hello my YouTube friends. Green screen features without a green screen were always a huge problem on the Mac. Now I say were because the problem is finally solved. Prism has come to the rescue once again with Prism Lens for Mac. It's free and awesome. Let me show you how it works today. So you know what? Let's get to it. Voice is a little under the weather today. I apologize for that. But Prism Lens is an app I'm going to show you today, and it's totally free, and there are links in the description so you can download it and check it out for yourself and follow along. That is the best way to learn. Now, I'm showing the Mac version here because the Windows version works exactly the same, and it's been out for quite a while. So let's get right on this. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to the Prism Live Studio webpage, and you can see we've got Prism Live Studio, Windows, and Mac. We want to go up to products and we want to go to the desktop lens, the Prism Lens desktop app. And we're going to click on that. It brings us to this web page. You can see we got our Windows one and now we have a Mac one. So we're going to go ahead and download that. And it only takes a few seconds for this to download. We'll go into our downloads and as soon as it's finished, we'll go ahead and kick it off. So all we have to do is right click and open. And then we just drag it into our applications takes a couple seconds. Once it's finished, we're ready to go. So we can close that out. We can go into our applications and we see our Prism Lens app is right here. Just double click on that and open our Prism Lens. And there we go. You just got to go through the permissions here. So when you open Prism Lens, you're going to get a bunch of prompts, especially on Mac but this prism lens core is the most difficult one to get through. So we're gonna use the passcode and we're gonna click okay. And then it's gonna bring this up. So we wanna open our system settings. And you're gonna see right here, system software requires your attention before it can be used. Just click details on there and then go ahead and use your password again. And then the prism lens core app we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Click OK. And then you just need to click Allow. Now what we're gonna to have to do is reboot the system. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You just go over here and we're gonna restart. All right, so now when we open Prism Lens, you can see we don't get any error messages or anything like that, which is very good. And we can drop this down and just select the camera that we want. So in this case, we'll do the first lens with the Prism HD camera. And there you go. You can see we have the background removed, but we don't have to. We can leave it in the original form if we want. Um, this will actually blur the image right here. So it'll blur the background. So we can do that in the first one. And then we'll go with Prism Lens 2. And let's go ahead and drop this down and we'll select our HD face camera and we'll use remove background right here. And we'll go ahead and just select a background that we want and that'll work. All right, so we've got the background removed there in Prism Lens 2 and we'll go to Prism Lens 3 and we'll go ahead and drop this down and we'll use the HD face camera again and we'll just use this background. And so now we can take all of this and put it into our Prism Live Studio. All we have to do is go over here to Prism Live Studio and in any of our scenes we can click the plus, we go to Prism Lens, click OK and we'll load up Prism Lens. In this case we we'll use Prism Lens 1, click OK and then we can just move it down below our other stuff here. One more, there we go. So. Now you can see we've got Prism Lens loaded in. We can move it a little over this way, get us centered up. And it actually looks pretty similar to my regular main camera with the background blurred. We can go into scene two, click the plus, load Prism Lens, and we can use Prism Lens 2 in this. So you can see you can use the same camera with multiple different backgrounds and all that kind of stuff. We'll go into scene three and click the plus, go to prism lens, 
and we're going to load up prism lens 3 and there we go so now we've got the same camera loaded three different ways and it's pretty awesome so we can go into prism lens anytime and change it up maybe we don't want this to be the face camera maybe we want this to be our phone camera so there we go we can use our phone camera it's pretty simple stuff now it is a square box on this phone camera and that's because of the way that I have it set up in the phone I can change that up and it could be full screen not a problem but you can see how easy it is to use prism lens and if we go over here you can see it's already loaded in there just like that so very very cool stuff there there's all kinds of awesome features that you can use in prism lens you can add beauty effects you can use prism look prism mobile to load your phone screen and different things like that you can do color correction and you can use color filters so let's go and change our camera here again so there we go so we can add different filters into our camera to change the look very very cool we can go to the original one right there we can do color correction which will you know saturate desaturate all that kind of fun stuff you can adjust the contrast the color the intensity the saturation and the hue very very cool stuff and then if you want everything you can just put it back to zero so it'll go back to to the exact coloration that you want but it's really easy to kind of color grade your your images if you want change them up how you want them right here and then beauty effects will kind of change your face so you can see that rounds off the bottom of my face a little bit it takes away some of my my little beard and you can adjust them all right here including how much of the skin smoothing and all that stuff you want that can all be adjusted here you could save them as custom filters and all that kind of stuff so you could do this on each of your prism lenses very very cool very very cool stuff and then of course it works seamlessly with prism live studio giving you that many more options for different things that you can do with a camera it's really, really cool stuff. It's an awesome program to remove your background and so much more. If you want to learn more about all the cool features that Prism Live Studio for Mac can do, you should check this video out. And a big thanks to Prism Live Studio for sponsoring this video. I couldn't possibly do any of this without them or you. So thanks. If you're looking to connect with me, I live stream every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope to see you there. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.